why would the majority of ancient Egyptian statues, figures, and monuments defaced? It's a question that arises amongst most people today. Some particular statues remain, however, the majority of these Egyptian statues have their noses taken off. Now, one of the most interesting things about this is that their noses being defaced happened very recently. However, as for the Sphinx, it is speculated that the British paid Napoleon to come in with his band and shoot the African nose and lips off the Sphinx because when they came to the base of the Great Pyramid, they saw this great figure with the body of a lion and the face of a man. And at the bottom in Arabic, it says the father of all. And they noticed that it had an African face with the features of African nose and lips and they wanted to shoot that off so they actually paid Napoleon to come in and do that and shoot the, the noses and lips off for other figures. The majority of the facing happened much more recently. Some Arab myths and legend uh, state that in around 900 AD some of the Muslim leaders would come and uh, climb up these figures and chisel the noses off because uh, they were still worshipped as idols and that they wanted to disfigure them. However, this doesn't hold water because if they wanted to destroy the figures, they would have destroyed the figures entirely. They wouldn't have to simply targeted their noses as they're targeted on so many ancient Egyptian figures. Um, the fact that their noses and lips were targeted specifically to not reveal their actual real features. However, just proving that the majority of these figures were defaced in the 17 and 1800s was actually debunked because recent uh, photographs have surfaced showing that there was an actual time in the uh, 1930s and 1920s where these uh, particular figures did have the actual real noses. And as more of these photos are, are coming to be surfaced, there's a lot of questions as to why this was done in such a late period in time and why there was such a blatant disregard for actual history during such a civilized age. The way we know that this happened recently is because the majority of them were shot off with machine guns. Now the invention of the machine gun happened more recently within the 1900s. So the majority of these statues were defaced within the 20th century. And why is it do you think that this happened? Well, speculation shows that it was done because as the European travelers would walk about and study the um, Egyptian statues, they noticed that their faces did not look like theirs. It was, they were not European, they were African. And so uh, many believe they conspired with the Arabs, uh, in fact, and paying them, compensate them to go about and with their leagues and shoot off the noses of these. Um, it was done throughout a series of years where they were targeted. Egyptian council would, would try to protect these statues, but these leaves of men would come in in rage and shoot the noses off the statues. A lot of people did not realize that this defacing of the statues happened very recently, although these statues had been around remain for thousands and thousands of years, yet we're only seeing them being defaced within the last hundred years or so. So it's very interesting. And a lot of people, they notice that and they don't think much of it, but. A lot of times children will, will ponder and ask their parents, why is it that the, most of the Egyptian statues have their noses shut off? But when we look at the European and Greek statues, they remain intact. And another thing about these Egyptian statues, it's if you notice, the statues that remain with their noses intact actually had either Arabic or European noses. They allowed these to remain. And it's peculiar how if you look at the statue, all is intact on some of these statues except for the nose. So it's obvious that the noses were the main target.